So on this video, I'll be playing for you some very, very shocking things that are actually said by uh, this celestial prophetess. So this is actually a new prophet that she did just the other day. Uh, and she has gone ahead to mention uh, DDJX, uh, Pastor Benny, Josmaya. So on this video, my main focus will be mostly on Pastor Benny and uh, all, the, all the allegations that she's making on Pastor Benny. So... Just to give you a brief background, first of all, this is not her first prophecy for her actually to mention Pastor Benny. There's another one that she did in the year 2014 in January. And uh, in that prophecy, she said that in 10 years time, that is supposed now to be in 2024, January uh, this year, that uh, th actually it was a list of around five to six men of God, including Pastor Benny, Eddie Long, T.D. Jakes and all that. So she said that uh, these men of God won't be on earth after 10 years. They will have died. But now uh, we are in February right now and Pastor Benny is actually right here. So she has come out uh, with a new prophecy that I'm about to play for you. So actually I posted that video, the video that I'm talking about for the 10 year. I did, I did that one. It's actually on the previous uh, videos. If you'll just check and then you'll be able to see. So you guys went very hard on me on the comment section. I saw your comments. You guys went very hard. Uh, some of you are really dissing me and everything. It's all right. It's all right. I have no, I have no bad blood on it. It's all love here. But now... This is now another video that she's doing again and then she's mentioning Pastor Benny on this prophecy and saying that God had shown her this. So I'm going to play for you this video and then uh, we'll speak about this immediately after that. So let's get into the video. And so the word of the Lord was simply this. Beyonce will die. All the people I named to you will die and be taken away. Tony Evans. T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Joyce Meyer, Benny Hinn, and more, they will all pass away. They will no longer be a snare to the world or a trap for people. Even the church follows them blindly, yet they are in witchcraft and occultic brotherhoods, sacrificing people to their demon gods. I will strike them and remove them all. All of them will die right down what I say. Whoever sacrifices people will be punished. That one is an idolater and a murderer. They shall be taken away. This habit of sacrificing a living human being for a ritual must stop. So it is just, a diabolical. Just before I continue this, uh, so the first thing she said here is that uh, all these people in that list will die. But uh, if. Uh, <laughs> I think death I think death is expected. That is just part of life. I don't see how that is a big deal anyway. But now, listen now to these shocking details that she's about to make. Let us not forget that she mentioned uh, Pastor Benny and Josmaya on this because now what she's about to say, man, that is freaking crazy. Just listen to this. A way to receive occultic power and the result of human being for a ritual must stop. It is a diabolical way to receive occultic power, and the result is the destruction and removal of a whole human life that I made. This is the Lord speaking. Kanye West has done this. He will be punished for it. And so the Lord is speaking here quite plainly of the sacrifices that are required in the brotherhood. So the Lord will expose that someone is part of the brotherhood. And then you, the brotherhood people, clearly because you must be members since you are so sure about who's in the brotherhood and who is not. You protest and say, no, this person is not in. But God, who knows all things, says that a brotherhood does exist that the payments you make to join it is sodomy, sex with men, after which you clearly cannot come and stand in God's pulpit and try to bring the word forth. But many of them are successfully doing it in your faces, not mine. Not some people's faces, but the majority's faces. So the entry-level payment, male or female, is the body but then after that, the Lord says that payment will escalate to the shedding of blood. Blood covenant for the member is other people's blood. So now you understand why the pastors work so hard to get you in these churches. They need chickens to sacrifice. 
Whoa. They need enough people in there for roofs to collapse on because the blood has to keep washing their altar. It's like gym membership. You have to pay your gym membership every month. The month you stop is the month they kick you out. But in these brotherhoods, the month you stop is the month that you come under judgment yourself. Your life could be at risk. You could be the next Bible accident. Wow. That is so scary, yo. That is so scary. So, uh, for those who don't understand actually what the brotherhood is, so brotherhood are like, uh, they are cults, actually they are cult movements, but these are, are based on a lot of secret societies. So it could be uh, a specific, you, you see it's an agreement between people. So that's why they have it and term it as a brotherhood. So it's a cultic movement where now you guys are bonded together. It will be either through blood, those blood covenants and all that. So uh in these in these movements definitely you are able even to rise in ranks and stuff like that so uh actually that is what she's alleging that are pastor benny and also just mine tdjx that is what they are practicing but on this video my main focus will actually just be on pastor benny so she says that um she's saying that uh you see, for these pastors, uh, Pastor Benny, Jesmiah, that they are also into occult. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why all these new moves of prophets, the ones who have really come up, uh, all the prophecies they tend to give nowadays are more on just uh, claiming that someone is going to die, claiming all the wrongs and the evil things. I just wonder what happened to uh, repentance. What happened to the message of forgiveness? Why not ask? Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm just thinking, why not ask these pastors, if you say that God gave you uh, this prophecy and God showed you these uh, everything that you are uh, alleging here in this video, why not ask them to repent and to seek the Lord? Just the way we saw in the Bible, you know, before God gave judgment to uh, the people that he judged when the prophets were delivering the message. First of all, they could go to those people and ask them. First of all, God is asking you to repent, repent from this, to repent from that. But I've not seen in any video where they're asking these men, uh, these pastors to repent or anything. They're just coming out to throw in words saying that, hey, you know what? You're going to die. Uh, God is going to judge you. God is going to burn you in hell. And guys, I don't know what you think about all that, but the allegations here are quite, quite crazy. Saying that uh, uh, Pastor Benny, Josemiah, they are practicing um, this occultism. You know, occultism is all about offering human sacrifices. And it's it's actually a very very it's, it's a crazy it's a crazy demonic thing very demonic, so I don't know how that sits with you. I don't know how that sits with you. For me, I uh, I'm, I'm I I don't I don't I, I don't follow this. For me, my stand is that I'm not following to this. I just think that uh, Pastor Benny is a true man of god i think that man is serving the lord and he's been doing it yes definitely he's not perfect maybe he has his own weakness here and there and that's expected because uh we are all not perfect it's just that uh if you if if you set your camera on your life 24 hours a day definitely there'll be something that people will see and it won't sit right with them so i just think i, I just think that's as simple as that but i won't say that that uh i wouldn't say that that man of god he's is fake that one i wouldn't say but i don't know what you guys think about this definitely i like to hear what you think about this in the comment section just remember that we are christians be good in the comment section but let me know what you think about this me my stand is that uh this prophecy i don't flow with this prophecy i don't believe anything in this prophecy but uh, the only thing that sounds to be true to me is where she said that all these people will die. That is, yes, that is part of the Bible. We will, we, everyone, everyone at some point definitely will die or will be raptured uh, uh, or something like that. But we won't be here forever. M we will be here forever after we come back with the Lord. But this life definitely at some point it has, it's just a temporary life. So. I don't know what you guys think about that. That is the only part in this prophecy that I, I can actually hold hands with her and agree. But I'd like to hear what you have to say on the comment section. Give this video a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And see you in the next video.